I asked a friend of mine as a great champion of the Reagan administration to explain Ronald Reagan's foreign policy to me. And he says, oh, I'm glad you asked me that. Let me tell you something, honey. It's just as clear and simple as you please. It's easy to understand. John Tower, Senator Tower, explained it to me the other day. Johnny, it's this way. I can tell it to you because I can discuss it honestly. You know, Ronald Reagan loves the truth, and I love the truth, and I love to tell it in a plain English, the language the Holy Bible was wrote in, the language that old mother of mine spoke. I sometimes think that the Almighty, in his divine wisdom, when he saw fit to create his most perfect work here on earth, selected the lone star state of Texas as paradise on earth. And he came to this Garden of Eden on earth, Travis County, Texas. And he caught the gold from the Texas sunrise, and he caught the sweetest notes from the throat of the Texas mockingbird, our state bird. And he caught perfume of the Texas blue bonnet, our state flower. And he compounded and molded it all together into that quintessence of sweetness and that epitome of all virtue and goodness. My mother. Well, now, son, that's what Ronald Reagan's foreign program is all about, and if you don't understand it fully, I'll explain it further. Or old man Tom Taylor said, Johnny, the trouble with the world today are that we have gone and invented a way of wiping ourselves off the globe, and we done it before we invented a way to stop ourselves from doing it. Well, this is right where we are today. There is no alternative to peace.